Ladies and gentlemen, in addition to their invaluable contribution to individual prosperity, as well as to our national economy, cooperatives in Kenya have played an integral role in fostering national unity and cohesion. The cooperative sector is a towering example of what can be achieved through unity, through coming together for the common good, through hard work, through enterprise, through sacrifice, and unyielding commitment to positive goals. Indeed, it is for this reason that since independence, the Kenya government has placed the cooperative sector at the heart of our national development agenda, counting on the sector as a reliable development partner in terms of social, economic, cultural, and political progress. My administration recognizes the importance of cooperatives in wealth and employment creation. And in this regard, the cooperative sector has been identified as one of the key partners in the realization of the Big Four agenda, which is decent and affordable housing, affordable health care for all, food and nutritional security for all Kenyans, and job creation and economic growth through manufacturing. Cooperatives have been and continue to be the bedrock of agriculture and food security in Kenya. Reform and modernization steps, such as those deployed with regard to the new Kenya cooperative creameries, are evidence of my government's commitment to assisting cooperatives operating within the agricultural and food security recover and overcome the challenges of the past and stride boldly into a better and brighter future. <laughs> Under the manufacturing pillar, my government has prioritized reforms and revitalization measures in various economic subsectors in which cooperatives have traditionally been huge players, but which over time have also experienced challenges. In that vein, we have taken and continue to take proactive steps, many that have resulted in positive gains for cooperatives working in the coffee subsector, in cotton, in livestock, and dairy, as well as the Juakali subsector. Our goal as government is to serve as facilitators and enablers to clear the path for cooperatives so that they and their members can realize their full potential. In terms of affordable housing, my government is partnering with the cooperative sector to ensure that as many Kenyans as possible enjoy the dignity of owning their own decent homes. In my tour this morning, and we went through Nacho, we have been informed that over 1,980 housing and investment cooperatives with assets, with an asset base of Kenya shillings 31 billion, proving that cooperatives are an ideal vehicle to provide at least 25% of the 500,000 new houses required across the country. So it gives me great pleasure to join all of you in celebrating this 97th International Cooperative Day, which also coincides with the 25th United Nations International Day of Cooperatives. We here in Kenya celebrate this auspicious day as Ushirika Day. And on this day, let me extend my warmest good tidings to all cooperators in Kenya, but also all those across the globe. Cooperatives and cooperators worldwide take this day as an opportunity to increase awareness on the vital roles played by cooperatives within local communities, society, 
nations and internationally. This day also allows us to reflect on the achievements of the cooperative movement, not only in advancing the interests and improving the welfare of members, but also their contribution to national cohesion, economic prosperity, international solidarity, equality, and also world peace. Indeed, the theme chosen for this year, Cooperatives for Decent Work, aptly fits into the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, particularly goal number eight, securing decent work and economic growth for all. The theme recognizes the fact that cooperatives are people-centered entities that prioritize human development and social justice within the workplace and other spaces. In line with the theme, cooperatives should endeavor to be champions for better employment and labor relations across the board by also leading by example. This day also provides us an opportunity for us to strengthen and extend partnerships between the cooperatives themselves, as well as between the sector and other actors, including government. This collaborative structure and synergies are not just at local or domestic level, but are increasingly at regional, continental, and international levels. Around the globe, cooperatives have brought together humanity in a way akin to no other. And in more ways than we can fathom, they have made this world a much, much better place. Here in Kenya, our political, social, and economic development has been and continues to be inextricably linked with the growth of the cooperative sector. The cooperative movement in Kenya features, as we have been told by the chairman, over 23,000 registered cooperative societies and commands a membership in excess of 14 million people. Our vibrant and diverse cooperative sector is recognized as a model on the African continent, ranking at number one position in Africa, but also seventh. Nahio <laughs> Haitoshi, we are also ranked seventh in the globe, Ulimwengu Mzima. Cooperatives in Kenya have mobilized member savings and deposits in excess of Kenya shillings 732 billion. And over and above that, you feature an asset base of approximately Kenya shillings 1 trillion. And a loan portfolio of Kenya shillings 700 billion. Kwa wale ambao hawajui, directly and indirectly, the cooperatives of Kenya account for 45% of Kenya's gross domestic product and 30% of all our national savings and deposits. <laughs> Furthermore, cooperatives in Kenya directly employ more than 300,000 people in addition to their invaluable contribution in creating secondary employment, supporting enterprise, and powering the economic activities of tens of millions of Kenyans. Indeed, by even the most conservative of estimates, a full two-thirds of all Kenyans can in one way or another, directly or indirectly, earn a living from the cooperative sector. To machine the leo, 
katika viwanda manyumba ambaye yamejengwa na cooperative societies za Kenya na nikisema ya kwamba cooperatives zimebadilisha maisha ya mamilioni ya wakenya hiyo ni haki na ni ukweli na ndipo mimi nimeamua ya kwamba serikali yangu itaendelea kuhimiza na kuimarisha cooperative zetu ndio ziweze kuendelea kukua na hata zile ambazo zilififia kwa sababu kwa sababu ya wizi tuseme tu kwa sababu hakuna kitu kingine watu kupora mali ya wengine tumeamua ya kwamba lazima tutazifufua leo tumekuwa huko Dandora kifungua factory ya KCC ambaye tumeipanua ambaye itaajiri vijana wetu ambaye itahakikisha ya kwamba wakulima wetu wa maziwa hawamwagi maziwa yao juzi tulienda kama serikali na tukaongeza pia pesa kule Eldoret tukafufua hiyo KCC plant Eldoret hapo hali tukaenda tukafufua ile ikosotiki mwisho wa mwaka huu nitaenda kufufua ya nyahururu ambaye tumeweka pesa Majaliwa ya Mwenyezi Mungu mwaka ujao mapema tutaenda kule Kiganjo Nyeri tufungue KCC hiyo ambaye pia ilikuwa imepotea na tunafanya haya kwa sababu tunajua wakati KCC ilikuwa kwa mikono ya wakulima ilikuwa inafanya kazi yake na ndipo tukasema itarudi kwa mikono ya wakulima wetu na sisi kama serikali tuwasaidie kufufua tukaenda tukaona nyumba ambazo mnajenga cooperative society mmetusaidia kubadilisha uso wa mji huu wa Nairobi Manyumba kubwa kubwa hapa wenyewe ni nyinyi na inawasaidia kwa shughuli zenu mbalimbali mbali. lakini pia kwa ajenda yetu ya kujengea wananchi wa Kenya nyumba za bei nafuu nyinyi mko katikati ya kuanza na kufanya kazi hiyo tayari mumeanza hamu kugojea kutumwa mumeanza na tumesema tutawasaidia kuhakikisha ya kwamba tumefanya kazi pamoja nanyi na wakenya wameweza kupata nyumba nzuri za kuishi kwa bei nafuu na tutaendelea kusaidiana na pia tukasema hata zile nyumba ambazo serikali inajenga pamoja na wawekezaji mbalimbali mbali, wengine wa Kenya wengine wa nje tumesema ya kwamba vitu ambavyo vinaweza kutengenezwa hapa kwetu Kenya sisi tunahimizia vijana wetu na tumesema hatutanunua hizo vitu kutoka nje tena kwa miradi yote ambaye serikali itaweka pesa na watu yetu yenu wanachu wameniambia hata hawa watafanya hivyo hivyo miradi ambayo iko na pesa ya serikali ama serikali inasimamia tumesema tunataka vijana wetu waanze kutengeneza sako zao waanze kutengeneza milango ambayo itatumiwa kwa hiyo manyumba dirisha ambazo zitatumiwa kwa hizo manyumba waanze kutengeneza maturufali ambayo itajenga nyumba katika sehemu mbali mbali za Kenya ndio vijana wapate kazi jameni tuwataka tuwe na manyumba safi ya bei nafuu lakini tunataka pia vijana wetu waweze kupata kazi na mimi na wasii vijana wetu angalia vile wazee 
wamejisaidia kupitia the cooperative movement hata nyinyi mujipange muunde sako zenu muanze kufanya kazi na mimi sina shaka mukifanya hivyo mengi mazuri yako kumbele kiwagojea kuna cooperatives mbili ambazo bado zinaendelea kunisumbua hakili na nataka kuwa nimezilimazizia kazi kwa sababu juzi tuliweka pesa kwa kahawa lakini bado wakulima bado wako na taabu na leo hii nimeamurisha waziri Munya kutoka Jumatatu ya siku hii KPCU na KFA tuingie huko ndani tujue ni nini turudishe hizo kwa wananchi wa Kenya na ziwe reorganized na restructured vile tumefanya KCC ndio wakulima wetu jameni warudishe pesa kwa mifuko zao. Si ni namna hiyo wewe baba? Tuende namna hiyo. Na sisi tunataka umoja, amani ya wakenya wote. Na mimi nawashukuru nyinyi kama washirika kwa sababu mmetuonesha kama wakenya mfano mzuri wa yale ambaye tunaweza kutimiza tukija pamoja